Um, drum or English? English, please. Okay. Can you just shortly introduce you, yourself for all the people who don't know you? Who would that be? No. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Matthias Schreiber. I'm uh, part of the Type of 3 community since what, 2001, I guess. Um, and I've been product owner for Type of 3, as a full time product owner, for uh, almost two years now. And um, I'm now CEO of Type of 3 Inc., the yes. new service company. Okay. The other guys I've had in these interviews have asked, I've asked them what was the first Type of 3 version. I know that you have been more in Type of 3 than me, so we have taught me Type of 3. Your first version must be 3.0? No, no, no. I actually started with 3.3 Z, uh, 3 .3 betas, but uh, my, my former boss, uh, Jan Hendrik, uh, sent me up with Type of 3 versions 3.1. So that I learned to appreciate what I had with the newer version. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great appreciation. Uh, yeah, the office of the Type of Free GmbH is the same flat as you have been for the WMDB. Isn't that something strange? Working for another co company in the same office? Well, the, the thing is that uh, WMDB moved offices because they needed more space, anyways. And um, the, the, the rental agreement with the old office space was still existent. And the size fit the size of Type of Three Ink that we did it now, so that just makes sense in, in terms of saving money. It's in terms of saving money, but we have switched company, but they are staying in the same office. Yeah, it's easier to remember the way in the morning, okay. so that you don't, you know, constantly look, ah, oh, damn, wrong office. But uh, no, it's it's cool. I mean, we, we did some renovation stuff and uh, have, have more like well, we have a Type of Three carpet on the floor. Um, Orange yeah. walls? No. No, 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 that's not healthy. Okay. No. The, the walls are still white, but there's uh, there's a couple of pictures going on right now. Okay. Um, you have starting the company in April. You've been in April in March with all the legal stuff. So that's yeah. Um, <laughs> we, we were done oh. in June. <laughs> in June, since June, in June, your son, since June, your son up and running. Um, how, how did your daily life change since then? Since compared, <laughs> compared June last year to this year. Um, I, I spent more time explaining the same things because a lot of people need to understand what, what Type of Free Ink is all about and um, there's a lot of, you know, like, fear is, is too hard of a term but, but a lot of uncertainty, so what's going on, will they now do projects and, you know, is this competition, which we're clearly not. So it's basically, it's, we're just there for support. We were just there to support the project, the agencies, because let's face it, without agencies, there's no type of free market at all. Doesn't make sense. But um, in general, my, my daily life changed in that regard that I'm working 12 to 14 hour shifts for seven days a week straight since then. And with, with all the traveling, I mean, I've, I've done 190 days this year up to now in constant traveling, so every camp, every event, a lot of user groups, um, uh, stuff with Microsoft, with the industry partnership where we spend a lot of time traveling around, going to Cologne, going to Munich, um, all these things. So I'm, I'm practically just as much on the road as before, but I attend less code sprints, for example, um, simply because I need to take care of boring office stuff a lot. Okay. Um... You kind of like it what you're doing, or is are these days? <laughs> well, are, the, are, the, are, are these days? So, so I'm done. <laughs> no, no, you're, no, you're traveling a lot. Yeah. You're meeting a lot of interesting people. You're uh, having some also fun on, on the road and all the stuff. Is it is it um, something you, you like it by the way, or you, do you think for next year you have to change something that you're staying more in the office or? Um, doing something else. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I wouldn't like what I'd be doing, I'd probably be doing something else. So, um, I mean, I've, 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 I've been bleeding Type 3 for so long now, and I've, I've, there's, there's so much momentum in the project. Um, the community vibe is extremely good. Everybody's, you know, like pumped and, you know, let's go, let's do stuff. Um, so I, I kind of take all the, all the energy out of that, I guess. And it's cool, you know, there's a lot of people, everybody's highly motivated, there's there's no one, you know, like complaining and or arguing or or having, you know, no, no trust in Type of 3 anymore. 
that there were times when we had this kind of vibe, but I think these times are past. So you're, so, you're, so you're also telling about trust and the product and all the yeah. stuff around that's that's going um, like a, like a like a hockey stick. So it's going up and up and up in, in the current state. You're, you're implying that it'll go down sometimes. No, no, no. I, no, I just want to. If you if you say it, it's 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 a very good momentum. The people are in it. It's a good spirit. We are doing good stuff. Um, so that's that's all positive and that's positive yeah. energy. Um, Add a small positive energy, and add a small positive energy, and so on and so on. So it's I'm going up and up and up. And um, I, I, I wouldn't say that the energy is getting is, is getting more, but it's, it's more people who get like infected by this. So there's there's more people who. I mean, new people like every week, and there's more people coming in with this positive energy, and this is what I like about it. Okay, you're, you're traveling a lot. You're not many time at home. Yep. Um, what could the community do so that you could stay more at home with your wife? <laughs> Frankly, um, <laughs> the, uh, I think the biggest thing we're doing right now is the, the entire funding thing, which a lot of people don't seem to get why we need this. So um, I can't handle anything on my own, so I, basically I have to employ more people who can you know, help take the workload off my shoulders. On the other hand, um, this is this is part of the funding process. So, um, I just just stick to the business plan, I guess. But um, but I I don't know. Just just sp spread the vibe on your own, which most of the people do anyways. Um, and um, maybe ask less obvious questions. I mean, I answer them. I, I answer them all. I answer them all the time, uh, tirelessly. But um, there's sometimes when I just think like, you know, most of the time I don't really ask or answer questions. I just ask a question in return to make people think, and then they came up with the solution themselves. So I'm I'm, I'm truly interested in, in dialogue and talking to people. But most of the time, people could have simply asked answered the questions themselves. Um, but on the other hand, you know, it's a, it needs to be done anyways. So I don't see myself <laughs> traveling less in the next couple of weeks or years. Okay. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for the time you're doing for the whole project, for the work. You're welcome. And you're um, really appreciated. Thank you.